Hey there folks, today I'm bringing you a battle against 2 dudes 333 no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly, a uh, dude I met through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder, and this is an Ubers battle. Uh, I was really hoping I'd find someone else to do Smog on Doubles with, but no, he wanted to do Ubers. So anyway, using my Sun team, he's using a Rain team. The only thing that I'm really concerned about looking at his team is his Lugia. I mean, obviously Arceus is a problem. Uh, people say that Kyurem White is a problem, but you know what? I've never really had a problem with it. So anyway, I lead off with my Groudon. He leads off with his uh, Kyogre. I am slower, so my Drought is going to win out, but a Surf or a Water Spout or an Ice Beam could still KO me, so I'm going to want to switch out here. He switches out first into his Kyurem White. Uh, that is A-OK, -okay because I switched out into Dar Daenerys Targaryen. Um, who is scarfed and outspeeds and has a super effective move just for him. He's going to go ahead and switch out now into Lugia. I guess the move was pretty obvious, um, but Sun is up, so it's not like I really wanted, would have wanted to go for Thunder. And Stone Edge... Well, I, I guess I, I was considering Stone Edge. Stone Edge might have been the better move, but oh well. Uh, go now out back out into Gondwana because the worst he can do to me is Toxic Me, and that's exactly what he does. So I'm fine with that. Gondwana is not going to need to do too much in this match besides set up rocks, and I mean, yeah, I, if it comes down to it, I'll use it to phase Arceus if it's an extreme killer Arceus, and as you can see from the team preview, it is a normal type Arceus. He didn't do something weird like go for an electric type Ar Arceus, excuse me. Um, so I get my rocks up here as he switches out. Uh, I'm obviously going to want to switch out here, and I'm going to withdraw Gondwana, go out in, back out into uh, Daenerys, and I think he just goes for the Water Spout. So that's leading me to believe that he's either Specs or Scarfed, I'm not sure which. Based on the damage, it's probably not Specs, I think Specs would have done a bit more even though Daenerys 4x resists it. Now here he goes out into Arceus, I go for the Thunder, I'm like, please give me some, para, uh, some Paralysis, that would be amazing, but not going to happen. Going to want to withdraw, go out into my own Arceus, which is a ghost type Arceus. And so here goes for the sword stance, but you know what? He can't go for the extreme speed, so that's okay. Here I go for the brick break. Now most of these RCDI that I've been uh, coming across recently have carry the shadow claw. This one carries the waterfall instead, boosted by the rain. That's going to do a massive amount of damage. But it appears that I'm faster. He's got life orb. Um, I guess he's not running max speed, which... Very few uh, Extreme Killer Arceus's do run max speed. I take him out with a, uh, with a Shadow Claw, uh, not a Shadow Claw, sorry, another Brick Break. break. Um, why did he go for the Extreme Speed? Probably just in case I was just bluffing the fact that I was Ghost type Arceus. Here I go for the Recover because, you know, he's obviously going to set up some sort of entry hazard, and I'd like my Arceus to be able to survive next turn. And I figure, you know, one round of entry hazards isn't that big a deal. Plus, he might over predict and think I, and uh, go for the. Uh, rabbits, but he doesn't. I go now out into my Reshiram. Even though the rain is up, a blue flare is not going to have any trouble taking this guy out. Um, so he gets off a, a second round of Toxic Spikes. I think that's actually better for my team than a single round of Toxic Spikes, but you know what? Um, it's not a big deal either way. My blue flare misses, it happens, and so he's able to wrap spin off. so I'm a little bit annoyed about that. Uh, I'm I'm cursing a little bit. Now I go for another blue flare and it misses again! He's at full health. Now you might think now that the worst thing I can do is get him down to a sturdy. But the great thing about Turbo Blaze is that it bypasses sturdy. So my third blue flare is going to manage to KO. That is so, so freaking annoying that my first two blue flares missed. Because now he's gotten off the rocks in addition to the toxic spikes. That hacks, and you're going to see that hacks is really going to play a big part in uh, the uh, rest of this battle. So now he goes out into his rush ram, um, not his rush ram, I'm sorry, his rush ram, his uh, Kyurem white form, and I'm just going to sack my um, rush ram because with the uh, stealth rock off, I'm not going to be able to take uh, another round of um, entry hazards. He's going to switch out. And I was kind of expecting that, so I'm just going to go for the Swords Dance. Unfortunately, his Lug uh, my rocks are gone, so his Lugia is going to be able to get back up to full HP, which means it's going to have multi-scale back now. So annoying. Going to go for a Bug Bite, so it's not super effective or anything. Uh, at plus two, does do a massive amount of damage, and that's nice. So he's going to whirl with me out. Eh, it's fine. I don't really mind. Go out into Daenerys. I figure go for Thunder. Maybe I'll be lucky, and I'll be able to... Um, get the paralysis, 
but either way, I mean, the worst he can do is roll in the out. I'm guessing. I'm not actually sure what moves he's running, but I'm already toxic, so he can't toxic me. I figure. I my guess would be that he was going to roost the next uh, roost on this turn, but uh, he actually decides. Yeah, he does roost. Okay, so he does roost. Um, and I'm just gonna have to stay in now. It looks like thunders are doing about half. Uh, not not a great situation for me to be in because he can just toxic stall me out. But I figure I can always get the parahacks against him, which would be really, really nice. So I go for another Thunder. Uh, his health goes down, down, down. Uh, does not get the parahacks. Uh, okay, whirlwind it out. Eh. I go out now into my Arceus. This is actually a great situation because I have the Shadow Claw, which is stab and super effective. Let's see whether he predicts that and switches out. Uh, I, I consider going, I mean, going for a Swords Dance would be really stupid uh, because he has Roland. But anyway, I go ahead and Shadow Call him for the kill. He decides to sacrifice his Lugia, which is really the best move in that situation. Arceus is now down to 109 HP. Not a great situation to be in. I'm hoping he's not Scarfed here. I go for the Shadow Claw, and that's going to get his health down to a less than full. But he goes for Surf anyway. My, uh, yeah, I mean... Not getting leftovers recovery, it looks like, and I'm guessing he's probably, uh, I'm, I'm guessing he's probably uh, spec. So here, he's actually going to leave in his Poseidon. Maybe he thought I would over predict, or maybe he just figured it's fine to sack it. I go for the thunder, take him out, and that is a dead uh, Kyogre. And now um, Daenerys is actually going to survive on 13. He's gonna go out into his Palkia, and so now I'm gonna, th now I'm gonna get to scout out a set. The fact that I outspeed leads me to believe that he's probably not scarfed. Um, he goes for the Hydro Pump here, and so now I'm thinking he's probably running Lustrous Orb. Uh, is that it? Lustrous Orb? Uh, I think it's Lustrous Orb. Anyway, so I feel safe going out into Dioxus, who will outspeed him, and I can just go for the Psycho Boost for the easy KO. Unfortunately, he was Scarfed, so totally misplayed that. He goes for the Hydro Pump. Not that I really had a better move, um, but Deoxys is now dead, and I go out into Gondwana, so I at least get the sun up, but uh, Hydro Pump, I mean, my really only hope is that his Hydro Pump misses. Uh, interestingly, he decides to withdraw, I guess, so he can lock himself into a different move. He goes now out into his, uh, his Curum White. I go for Earthquake. Ain't gonna do too much damage. Uh, Stone Edge would have done slightly more, but only slightly more. Uh, Gondwana's basically out here to die. Uh, I stay in just in case he goes for the fire type move. I don't want to lose my scissor. And so here he goes for the ice beam. He's going to take me out. And that is sad, but inevitable. Now I go back out into Rico, my scissor. Uh, I'm going to go for the sword stance here because I'm figuring these specs, and I count that specs will not KO me, uh, considering it is a resisted hit. I go for the swords dance. And now Bullet Punch, I mean, Bullet Punch would have actually KO'd before this point, but now I know it's going to KO, and I have a hope that I can actually do something to his final Pokemon. Basically, he'll have to miss his hit. Um, that's the only way that I'll be able to get a KO. And at this range of health, actually, with Life Orb, so the best I can do is tie here. His Draco Meteor does not miss, and I'm going to lose this battle. So, had Reshiram not um, missed its first or its second um, fire, uh, blue flare, I might have actually won this game, but it doesn't happen, so great game, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks.